Okay, we are so bougie in today's video. And I am like beside myself with excitement. I have done fashion and beauty editing for so many years. As I always say in my intro, over 20 years, but I haven't lost that excitement. And it's here today because we have the brand new Prada Holiday. And then I'm also gonna talk about Clay de Post skincare. I told you we're going bougie today because I've always wanted to try Clay de Post skincare. Never could before. We're gonna talk all about that and more today with me, Rebecca. As I said, I'm a fashion and beauty editor, but so few of us read anymore that I brought it here to YouTube so that you have a kind of live beauty magazine to look through every day or so here on YouTube. All right, let's get into this. This is, I thank Kelly later in the uh, demo, but Kelly is the one who first brought this to my attention. Um, so I thank you. That is Kelly out there in viewer land. This is the Prada Dimensions Multi-Effect Refillable Eyeshadow Palette. It's, hang on to your hat, $92. It's Prada. What do you expect? It's really topping things out. We're getting it, and we're going to talk about Clay de Peau skincare here, but we're getting into Clay de Peau territory, I get. Um, this has the Prada Land Holiday Ornament Pattern on the front. Prada Land. What's the rent like in Prada Land? I bet it's high. Hmm. Anyway, that is the Prada Land Holiday Ornament Pattern. This is that hybrid, um, creamy, but powder finish formula that I love. The reason I'm so excited is that Prada came out with makeup a season or so ago, and I was like, eh, we'll see about that. And I have loved it. I love everything about it. We're going to apply the foundation together today and all sorts of things. And this is just like, oh my God. I'm wearing it right now. So you're getting a little preview, but it is, I mean, it, be still my heart. A brassy gold and a silver, this gorgeous pink and this kind of purpley brown. I'm going to show you. We're going to talk about ingredients and swatches and all that good stuff. In fact, let's go to the ingredients now. Here are the ingredients of the Prada Dimensions Multi-Effect Refillable Eyeshadow Palette for $92. It's limited edition. It's just here for the holidays and I'm glad it is. It's staying with me past the holidays. I'm very excited. Yeah, $92 though. I mean, you're paying for that. Okay, let's look at some swatches, both inside and outside. Here they are, uh, kind of the way they'd appear in the palette. I tried my best on my arm. First in studio lighting. Take a look-see. Really pretty. But if you can't see it well enough, let's take it into the sun and shade outside in the hot, very hot California sunshine. Take a look there at the Prada Dimensions Multi-Effect Holiday palette. It's so pretty. And when we go to the demo, we're going to start it off with a little uh, Clay de Peau skincare. I will often buy the Clay de Peau palettes that are about $110, but I've never indulged in Clay de Peau skincare. When I get the palettes, I will greenly uh, use up every last drop in any of the samples they say that they give me. But I just recently became a Clay de Peau affiliate and they sent me, I'm not going to lie, they sent me the Eye Contour Cream Supreme and I have been using it because I am a bougie bee with this. Let me tell you, there is no telling me when I am putting on my Clay de Peau Eye Cream Supreme, Contour Cream Supreme, um, and I'm going to talk to you all about what it does and why I'm using it, but also to tell you the real reason is that um, I do have a link to check out. Um, even if you're not going to purchase it, sniff around a little bit, see what you think, um, and, and see the different sizes that they sell, you know, because some of those sizes might suit your budget, and skincare is one of those things where it kind of sometimes when you do spend a little more on skincare, you're rewarded. Makeup, sometimes it's debatable, right? But skincare for sure, listen to me, they did give it to me, but I just wanted to talk to you about it a little bit, okay? All right, we are going to go to the demo. I am just absolutely fired up excited about these products because this is just, oh, I can't, that loves, it lives inside me, guys, no matter how long I do this. So I'm crazy excited the table crazy excited let's go to the demo don't forget to check down below for all this info and info on our facebook page and our membership follow me on instagram tiktok super thanks see you so at the risk of embarrassing myself we're, we're all friends here though right i have always wanted to try clay to post skincare and never been able to afford it you know actually though i mean they're actually they're they're doing a lot of different sizing now so it's more affordable so it can be in like the hundred dollar range for a minute i know 
I know. They sent me some because I'm an affiliate. Um, and I've been working with the Eye Contour Cream Supreme, which until now I have only ever been able to use via sample. And they sent me some, so I've been using it. I want to show you. This stuff is so good because I saw it comes in a mini. I don't think I would have had the heart to tell you guys about it if it didn't come in a mini that was more affordable. Do you know what I mean, though? Okay, like, let me just show you. Okay, it's so, like, thick, but it, it hasn't... I, I will get Milia from Thick Eye Cream, and I've been using this for about a week and a half now, and it hasn't done anything. And usually I will get it, like, within two days. So I'm really excited about that. It's really cooling. And it has um, Lempuyang Extract. I had to look that up. It's an Indonesian ginger, um, but it's got iris root, and it's got this beautiful... Check this out. I mean, only clay de po, right? And it's got retinol, of course. So I dip a little bit of this of this little into, into this here, and I just want to show you. I've been putting it, I've got bare skin right now, and I use so little, probably because I'll never have to replace it. It is so nice. So this works on, this works on fine lines, okay? It's, it's unscented, it has a little bit of a skincare scent, but it works on fine lines, wrinkles, and dark circles. The dark pits of despair. And, and, and I like to put it up top here too. You're supposed to use your ring finger, um, but that's okay. Sorry. Okay, um, and then I put it up here. I haven't done it yet this morning. I just want to, I waited to show you guys. Um, and it is, I have a blemish right here, but that is not uh, due to the eye cream. Okay, so it feels so nourishing and nice that I end up putting it on as the last step of my skincare because it's really kind of cooling. And I don't have, I don't have puffy eyes. I have the opposite. I've kind of sunken in eyes. I have like where the person with puffy eyes and me should meet in the middle and then we'd both be happy. Like just puff them out a little bit. Um, I'm just so happy with it. It feels really nice and nurtured and I'm not having any side effects and Sometimes you get what you pay for. In this case, I didn't pay because they sent it to me, which was very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and put on, now that we put that on, I'm going to put on my uh, Prada foundation with you guys. I have reviewed this so many times over and over. It is refillable. Everybody knows my Prada story when I first got this. I was doing a pig and a poke. Hold on, let me get my foundation brush. It was a little bit of a pig and a poke. This is the Esum foundation brush, by the way. And I picked the wrong shade. I picked too light of a shade. And I, everyone kept saying, when are you going to get the right shade, Rebecca? But oddly, I have grown to love it. Um, I don't know why. It's just, it's a little too light, especially this summer. But um, it's so brightening. And I'm going to run out anyway, because this is my favorite foundation. Fortunately, I don't run out too quickly because, you know, you guys, I'm always testing new foundations. So nothing ever gets wear for, you know, too long <clears throat> around here, around these parts. Um, but I just love the way it brightens. So it is true that when this runs out, I will get my refill. This is the, this is the deepest light neutral. And I really need one light neutral up, one light medium neutral up, if that makes sense. I'll put the shade in the description bar. In fact, all of these products will be listed in the description bar and where I can, they'll be up here in YouTube, sh YouTube shopping for you to click on and see where I can. Sometimes you can't get all of it on YouTube shopping, but this is my favorite foundation ever created under the sun. So this is definitely a bougie video, but let me tell you these products, oh, I just love the product. Okay, now, it, look, I'm a little lighter. That might come winter i'll be fine you stop your sassy joking okay i am going to go just like do my brows and stuff a little bit and then let's i've been putting it off but i'm really excited let's apply this eyeshadow gold and silver i cannot wait stay right there honestly i have been most excited about this release so excited about it uh kelly told me about this thank you kelly I didn't know it was released yet. And Kelly's like, Rebecca, it's not really strong. And she was the first one who told me. So thank you, Kelly. Okay, um, let's see. Hmm. Let's start with, let's start with this brown shade because it's a nice matte. We're going to use Sonia G today. And I'm taking a little bit of the color off. Don't bang your beautiful brushes. If we're doing a bougie video, let's go bougie all the way. Don't bang your expensive or your cheap brushes, really, um, because that it's not good for the glue. So I'm just gonna put put a little bit of this, just that old Charlotte Tilbury technique where she used to talk about windshield wipers. You really don't hear that anymore. This is kind of a purpley brown. And knowing that, I used a super dark 
purple eyeliner from Esam today. Kind of in an Esam mood as we used our Esam brush uh, for the foundation as well. This is really nice, typical Prada. I've never met a Prada makeup product that I haven't liked. Um, I say this in the video too, that when Prada came on the scene with makeup, I figured, as so many of us did, that it was a money grab and it wouldn't be any good. And then I walked into Chanel after I tried it and I was like, look out, they're coming after you because it's good. It's so good. Okay, let's see. Now, hmm. Okay, I want to go, I'm going to stick with this Sonia G brush and I want to go into this pink and I just kind of want to put it all over. Remember, we're doing like a holiday look. I have to go to my daughter's tennis match after this though. Middle of the day here. Well, early but middle of the day. And um, that's gonna, people are gonna talk, they don't know what I do, you know, for a living. So they're just gonna be like, she's strangely glam meets gardening. Okay, glam gardener. Oh, you know I love pink, come on now. Come on now. But I still got a silver and a gold. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, I'll we'll figure it out. Let's switch brushes here. Okay, let's go into the silver and then let's do silver in the inner corner. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is a, okay, this pink is like so one and done for me. And so, oh my God. I'm just, I need a moment. Just like go make a sandwich or something. I just need like a moment. I don't know what to do with the gold. See, to me, okay, I'm trying to do like a cohesive look here for all of us watching. To me, this, I wouldn't wear all these together, but separately, like this kind of creamy to powdery formula, like why? Why is it so good? Okay, I know what I'm gonna do with the gold. I had to stop and think. We're just gonna put a little gold. This is kind of silly, because you guys, this does not all need to be on at once. I am going to um, YouTube for their holiday house next week. It's like kind of like a YouTube holiday party. I'm so wearing this there, right? Do you guys agree? Do you guys agree? You can tell me. <gasps> Even my phone is dinging along in approval. I swear I turned off the ringer. Oh. Okay, and that is all. Okay, now I wore all, all four shades there. Totally unnecessary, but I just wanted to see. And yet, loving it. Normally, I think, here's what I would normally do um, if you're gonna spend the money on this palette, so let's just be frank. I would always do this in the crease, this purpley brown. Um, I have hooded eyes though, so you know. Um, and then I would choose one of these as a one and done. Maybe incorporate one other. What do you think? Or would you, I, I like all four together. Don't get me wrong. I just don't know if that's what I would generally go for, but maybe for a holiday look. I am gonna wear this next week though, by the way, I'm super excited about that. Um, wow, wow. So happy, still loving this wrong color of the Prada foundation. I just think it's so brightening. Uh, still loving all things Prada beauty. The Clay de Peau, bougie, 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 but I had to put it in there because I had never tried their skincare before, and I, I wondered if you'd always wondered about it too. Uh, check it out, I'm gonna link it below along with everything else here, and like I said, what I can on screen. Check it out, because there's different sizes and different prices now in Clay de Peau. They are, they are realizing that we want to try their products, but we want to be able to have an, an, an entryway to do that, right? All right, let me know what you think. Um, we are overrun with holiday offerings. I've also got the um, Lancome palette, and that's the one that was done with uh, Lisa Eldridge. And I've got, oh my gosh, I've got everything like from small things from Lawless and Ilia. I've still got that Patrick Ta Barbie cheek thing coming up. I'm absolutely flooded here with new products. So you gotta like tell me what you think and what you're gonna buy and what you're not gonna buy. Did anyone pick up the refer brushes, the BK Beauty brushes? I'll link all of that stuff below because you got to make wise decisions. I'm buying all this to review. You're probably buying this to wear. So what is really important and what can just kind of fall by the wayside? You got to make some decisions. I'm here to help you with that. That's why I'm trying it all. So make sure you ask your questions below. The kindest thing that you can do for me, of course, is to subscribe to this channel. 
it helps me grow. Um, but definitely like and share as well. And got so much new stuff coming up. Um, I think that Lancome uh, Lisa Eldridge is next, actually, tomorrow or the next day. I don't know. I don't know. I hope to see you there, though.